Hello, hello, and welcome. Sin here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on auto crafting with applied energistics. How does it work? How do you get started? Well, we're going to touch on that now. So, I guess at the bare minimum, you need a crafting CPU and you need something to craft with. So, we're going to make the crafting CPU, which is a 1k crafting storage. That's all you need to get started. You can make these a lot bigger, and as you make more complicated recipes, you'll probably need something more than a 1k crafting storage. And in Applied Energy 6.2, it does go up to 64k crafting storages. But for right now, 1k is bare minimum, that's just what you need. You can expand on these, so you can use a 1k crafting storage and a crafting monitor. So the crafting monitor allows you to see what you're making, um, I guess what the final product is that you're making. It's visually appealing and it can help you at a glance, you know, have a look at all your crafting CPUs and say, oh, yep, they're all being used, or no, I have one free or I have multiple free. So you can do multiple different crafting steps or multiple different crafts at one time. Now, the final thing I'll touch on here is we've got our 1K crafting storage and we're going to put a co-processing unit on top. Now, the co-processing unit allows us to simultaneously craft other items on top of maybe the one that we're currently crafting within that crafting recipe or that chain of crafts. Um, so, the, you can have multiple co-processing units as shown here, and you can have multiple crafting storages as well. But it does need to be in a box, and if it's not in a box or a square or a cube, then it will have those unconnected textures showing you that it's not a valid configuration and if you would like you know you could you know mix and match you can have um, it doesn't have to be the it doesn't have to be a, a crafting storage at the bottom it just needs to be incorporated somewhere into it so as you can see there I've made this sort of a 3k three one k crafting storages, two co-processing units, and a crafting monitor. Now I can remove that crafting monitor and put another storage in there, or I could put another co-processing unit. Feel free to mix and match um, what works best for you and what works best for your design. But now we have some bare minimum crafting CPUs, and now we need to be able to craft the item. So what we need to first have is an ME interface, and this interface tells the AE2 system how, you know, send me the items, I'll make the item and send it back to you. But to actually make the item, you do that in a molecular assembler, molecular assembler, and in that it's a 3x3, three three, just like a crafting table, you put your three items in here, it uses some power and it makes that item, and then it sends it back into the ME interface and back into the system. So let's have a look. Let's say I want to make some annihilation cores, and we have a look at the recipe here. So the recipe is some nether quartz or pure nether quartz, fluix dust, and a logic processor. So let's move on, let's shift click that into our inventory, into our crafting grid here, and you can see that we're on the crafting pattern as opposed to the processing pattern. And here we have the pure nether quartz crystal in the recipe, but we don't have that in our system. So let's have a look at the nether quartz instead. So now we've moved the nether quartz into the crafting, t the crafting pattern, and we still have the annihilation core, so we can encode a pattern from that blank pattern, and we can now get an encoded pattern. If you hold shift, it shows you the item that that pattern makes up, and what we can do is we can now put that in our ME interface, and in that interface, now it will be available to craft in our, our terminal. So if we click on that and say, let's say we want to make 10. So to make 10, we need 10 nether quartz, 10 fluix dust, and five logic processes and then I'll craft our 10 annihilation cores. We can have a look here so you can see our, we have our crafting CPU with two co-processors, one uh, zero co-processors and zero co-processors. And let's say we want to choose the one at the end and we have two co-processors and storage. Here we can see it being made there and we can see just a glimpse of it there but it was being made so that crafting CPU is quite helpful. And you know what I can let's see if I go a bit faster you can see it's being made very quickly, and there we go, being made. So this is crafting CPUs uh, and auto crafting in Applied Energy 6.2. If you've liked this tutorial, hit that like button, and if you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. But as always, have a good day. See you now.